Hello friends, in this video I will repair this Dell Optiplex micro PC. I hope that will be as simple as I saw in other videos. So this uh, mini PC has a short on power supply. I will use this uh, adapter from uh, old school Dell to small Dell. And now let's measure the continuity from plus and minus. That's completely shorted. And the data pin, ID pin, ID pin it's ok. Now let's check on the connector. This is a ground. This is ground, this is the plus, and this is the data pin. So we have a short circuit on the input. Let's take the motherboard out. Now this is the PCB. Let's make a quick inspection. At first sight, everything looks perfect. So let's do it like I saw on the internet. So I put uh, 1 volts and 2 amps on my power supply. And I will check with uh, thermal camera. So I have put uh, 1 volt and 2 amps the power supply. And when I connect I have 2 amps and 0 0.7 volts. Let's connect the plus. So as you can see, the hottest point is here. Let's identify the part. So the hottest point is this uh, MOSFET. Let's measure this MOSFET. So the problem uh, could be this MOSFET, but I can't be sure until I take this uh, piece out. So I hope that the problem is just a capacitor, but it seems it's a little more complicated. Now let's see if we still have a short circuit on power. So the short is gone. Now let's uh, measure this MOSFET. It's completely shorted. Now I have to find exact uh, this uh, type of MOSFET from one of my salvage laptop uh, motherboards and I will be back. So I am lucky because I found an equivalent is a P-channel MOSFET. Let's take this down. As you can see, it's a perfectly equivalent. Now let's measure the connector. That's the minus, that's the plus, and that's the ID pin. Now let's power this with 20 volts, 0 0.5 amps. Now let's turn on power supply and still we have a problem because I have 4 volts and uh, 0.5 amps and this MOSFET is heating. It seems there is another problem on this motherboard. Now let's measure the components around this MOSFET. First of all, let's check if the MOSFET is still good. Yes, MOSFET is good. This is a shunt resistor. And this is a Schottky diode. So it seems this diode is also in short circuit. Let's take it out. So I have took out this Schottky diode and the diode is good. Now let's measure here on the motherboard and we still have a short. So that means 
that the short is in uh, it's somewhere else now I will apply uh, 1.5 volts to amps instead of this uh, diode and see where is the shorted capacitor now I have uh, let's move on volts I have uh, 1.0 volts I can't find anything on this side let's try the other side it should be this capacitor but I need uh, more current I will uh, move to 3 amps now let's see what happens it seems I hope you can see let's add uh, 1 amp now I have 4 amps but it's a small drop of voltage now it's bigger yes it's this capacitor now let's take uh, let's measure this one seems shorted now i took out this capacitor let's measure it yes it's shorted and now let's measure the circuit circuit is good so it seems uh, this was the first problem and after that uh, because this circuit pass over over current uh, resistor that's why uh, input MOSFET was in short now I've put my power supply to 19 volts and 1 amp let's see what happens I forgot to put back now I have to put back this Schottky diode now let's measure again now it's good now let's apply the power supply to see what happens so 19 volts 0 0.5 amps now let's apply uh, supply voltage this is ground this is plus now let's uh, power and I have 0 0.1 uh, amps and uh, standby LED it's on it seems now it's working and if I press uh, power button it seems this will not start without a processor now let's put uh, RAM and processor and see what happens so I put the RAM and the processor and I've increased the current 2.5 amps now let's power to see what happens as you can see the standby led it's off and i have one uh, amp uh, now let's press now it's on standby it seems it's working now let's make a test with the heat sink and the monitor this led it's on so means we have no si short circuit power led is on and uh, it's working as you can see so it seems that i did a good job it show me processor fan error because i don't have a processor fan so it seems that i did a good job if you made it so far please give a big like and subscribe and if you have any questions please put it in a comment Thanks for watching. Bye.